wife Carla own and manage Sunset Mountain Miniatures, a miniature horse farm in Texas where we raise and show miniature horses. Now I'd like to read you a story today. This is If I Ran the Horse Show by Bonnie Worth. It's part of the Cat in the Hats Learning Library. I'm the Cat in the Hat, and today we will go to my super tremendous, stupendous horse show. But I warn you, I might get a little bit sappy. When it comes to horses, I get really happy. Horses and people have long worked as one. They've formed a strong bond when all said and done. Horses were hunted by cavemen as prey. Farmers learned later to make them obey. All horses are treated, you will find this fact fun, as if they were born on January 1. A foal is a horse who is less than one year. A yearling surprise is a year. Is that clear? So all of these horses are older than a yearling. Some of these horses are 10 and 12 years old, including this lady right here, who I believe is now about eight years old. A filly is a female who is less than four. A mare, a mare is a female who is four years or more. A colt is a male horse who is less than four. A stallion is a mare who is four years or more. Well, hello, Stormy. Yeah. Stormy here. Stormy is about seven years old. A dam is a horse who is also a mama. Stormy here is a mama. A sire is a stallion, a horse is papa. I don't have any stallions out behind me at the moment. Gelding is the word that people use for a male who can't make foals anymore. Before we go on, it is good, I suppose, to look at a horse from its tail to its nose. The top of the tail is what we call the dock, then haunch and stifle and gaskin and hock. Hip loins back flank, withers pole crest. Here's the withers on this stormy. Now take a deep breath and go on with the rest. Neck, jaw, chin groove, forehead and foretop. Nostril and muzzle. Is it time to stop? Yeah. Show us your muzzle here, Miss Stormy. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. No, our look at the horse can't be rated complete until we have looked at the legs and the feet. Hoof, coronet, pastern, knee and fetlock, elbow and cannon, then back to the hock. Nerves under horse hide can feel a fly creeping. A tail fins off flies by swatting and sweeping. Eyes set on the side, as with all those that are prey, see predators coming far, far away. Come here, Stormy. Let me see you for just a moment. See how her eyes are on the side of her head? So she can see things far off. Legs made for running help horses to high. Flat hooves keep them steady on wet turf or dry. Most horses we ride, this will not be big news, have hooves that are guarded by strong iron shoes. Horse hooves, like your nails, are made up of stuff that doesn't have feeling. Oh, hoof stuff is tough. A farrier trims horse hooves with a file. Horses should have this done every once in a while. Our horses will have their hooves trimmed, their, their nails trimmed, in just one more week. The farrier heats up horseshoes until they are hot, then nails them on tight. Does it hurt? It does not. None of my little horses wear horseshoes, but that's because they're miniatures. Horses step out or move at a number of rates. Walk, trot, canter, gallop. We call these steps gates. Standard bred horses can move at a pace. A fast gait they use when they run in a race. The Icelandic pony has what's called a tult, a swift gait that's smooth with nary a jolt. Both standard and icy, these two that you see, are what we call breeds. What are breeds, you ask me? The breed out here is the American Miniature Horse. 
Breeds are horses who mix with similar mates and give birth to foals who have the same traits. This breed is a Clydesdale. It's bred to be big. The Falabella is as small as a six-month-old pig. Falabellas are very similar to American miniatures. The Clydesdale, we know, measures 18 hands high. The Falabella is seven. What a cute little guy. How big is a hand? Well, a hand is four inches. Well, most of my horses are actually between 30 and 38 inches tall, which means they're all less than 10 hands tall. 10 hands would be 40 inches. Quarter horse is a breed that started out west. It's easy to handle and herds cows the best. Appaloosas are horses that are covered with spots. Native Americans like the spotted breed lots. In the Sandy Sahara, the Arabian's a prize. It has grace and speed and a delicate size. It can do with less water in dry desert lands and runs without sinking deep into desert sands. Arabians now live the whole world round. Where there are horse lovers, this breed can be found. With large eyes and nostrils and a dainty muzzle, it's easy to handle and happy to nuzzle. The fjord from Norway can deal with rough weather. They say it is stronger than good tough shoe leather. These miniature horses are very, very good in cold weather. They don't mind cold at all. Australian stock horses, sometimes called whalers, come from down from under with British settlers and sailors. Connemara ponies go on great riding tours of Ireland's fair marshes as rolling horses. These hunters and jumpers, so the story goes, swam from Spanish shipwrecks, but who really knows? Answer this question and you'll win a prize. Is being a pony of average size? A grown horse that's less than 14 hands too, you say is a pony, the prize goes to you. Well, technically these are miniature horses, not ponies. Ponies are bigger. The Lipizzan horse from the Spanish riding school can dance and prance nibbly, so elegant and cool. A Lipizzan's proud with a beautiful mane, crossbred from Arabians and horses from Spain. The school is in Austria and has won worldwide fame. Its half Spanish horses inspired the school's name. The Morgan is smart and learns quickly how to pull rigs, plow the field, to run a race, herd a cow. Thoroughbred is a horse born and bred for the track. It carries a jockey upon its sleek back. It runs in big races of worldwide renown, like the Ascot, the Epsom, and the Triple Crown. Mustangs roam wild on the wide open plains. They've never known saddles or the feel of the reins. Bit, reins, and saddle are what we call tack. Reins and bit on the head, saddle over the back. There are Western saddles and the English kind. The difference between them, let us bear in mind. Now, my horses don't usually wear saddles. In fact, none of mine have worn saddles. But they wear harnesses so that they can drive carriages, carts, wagons, and even chariots. Western is made for the cowboy's long haul. English is for jump it, hunting, jumping and all. On English, we post. And we must learn the knack of rising up off the trotting horse back. We stick to the Western and we do not rise. Either Western or English is great exercise. Now put on the saddle, the reins and the bit. Your hard riding cap, you can't forget it. The judges are waiting. It's time for the show. So pick up the reins. Giddy up and let's go. That's the end of our book, but I'll end this video with a few pictures and video clips of some of these horses off in the show ring. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you for listening.